That'll be my hyper go go. Get in. Oh, yes. My hyper go go's come. <laughs> oh. Can't wait to open my hyper go go. Charge, I can't wait to use it. Oh wow! <laughs> How kills cool that? I'm not sure I've got. Oh, it doesn't say. This might be a surprise. Walkthrough bag for it. Every bloke's favourite manual, the instructions. Oh, cool. I've got that one. Okay, then, so we've got the Hyper Go Go out the box, and I made up that they sent me this fluorescent greeny yellow one because not only is it going to stand out when I go swimming, but people will want to know what it is because they'll be able to see it from afar and they'll come over and mither what's going on, what is that. And I'm going to show you in this video what it's all about. So the HyperGoGo comes with two spare batteries, the, the normal user manual, a Euro two pin and a UK three pin plug adapter to go with the charger. And we've then got a leash that spreads out to just over a meter, so you can clip this one arm to, uh, one to your arm and one to, to the machine so you don't lose it. And then it comes with its own dry bag. It's a roll top type dry bag where you clip it together, so it'll not only float if it's to fall off your boat. It stands out because it's yellow, but it keeps it dry and dust free. So it's nice and safe while it's in the bag. Looking at the Hyper Gogo, then it's got two different fans or propellers, and it's got two triggers, the left and the right. Flipping it upside down, we've got where the battery is stored and located. We've got a GoPro mount, and we've got a safety switch here. So this is you can click it on safe, which means when it's out of the water, it's not going to start being propelled if, it, if any of these buttons get pressed. Most importantly, it locks off this right hand button and trigger here. Also stops the kids messing with it if they, they try it on. So if you open the, the two battery location mounts out, it's pretty obvious which way the battery goes round because it's got like a sort of coffin shape to that front. Find its feet, push it down and it's located. You lift the tabs up, they, they just locate on the battery and then they lock in with those two levers. To so operate the HyperGoGo, you've got the left and the right trigger holding down the left followed by the right, turns it on, press it twice, it speeds it up, holding down both levers keeps it going, let go and it'll cut out. To decrease the speed, you hold down the right, let go of the left and tap the left twice. Holding it down will keep it going, letting go will stop. Just like a little overview now of the HyperGo Go Manta. So it's maximum speed is 1.5 meters a second. That's in the top of the three different gears that you've got. It's depth rate is to 30 meters uh, with a run time of about 35 minutes. What we've found is we can swim for about a kilometer on the, the fastest gear at one full charge of battery. The charge takes between two and three hours. At this age for people over 14. So a week later, we took it down to Anglesey and we swam in the sea with it. As you can see now, it's really effective. I can get down without any weight on my wetsuit down to four meters. It's really good and quite fast at getting us down there. And it's so maneuverable. If you can see there just how quickly I can turn around and it's no sort of effort to keep it under and then quite quick to come up. The maneuverability of this is just no comparison to when you would normally snorkel with fins on. As you can see, I've got no fins on and I'm able to do some quite good acrobatics in the water and then almost hug the surface at the minute. This shot doesn't do it justice and you can see by the smile on my face now just how happy I'm at, at, at using it. Now it's Jack's turn and he's got very little experience of snorkeling or even scuba diving but even he finds it very easy and manoeuvrable as you can see it doesn't take much effort for him to get under although he's got a shorty wetsuit on in comparison to mine which is a 5mm full length wetsuit. Ali's got the same as me and she's straight under but she's got quite a lot of experience and time underwater so you can see how comfortable she is. While we are filming this we saw this little shanty so I thought it's worth putting it in the video just for a bit of context to show that we're actually in a real life situation. 
So a little shanny there, just having a watch of what we're doing and going hiding under the rocks now. So I thought for the benefit of, of the customers that might be looking at this, where you would go about finding one, I thought it's worth showing. So I've looked on Amazon for one and they're relatively easy to find. So you just put in what you're looking for, which is a Hyper Go Go Manta or Sea Scooter. And you can see there's different colours coming up there. So there's white, green, orange. And uh, it's 489.99. So I'm back home with the Hyper Go Go Manta. And I honestly think it's a fantastic bit of kit. Not because they sent it me, but because when I took it on holiday, my friends and family loved it. It added to the whole sort of in-water snorkeling experience that several of them probably wouldn't have had. The amount of effort they would have had to make to get underwater by fin kicking as opposed to using this. Plus, you know, the added element of having something kind of cool, a bit of tech, instead of just doing simple snorkel on the tube, this just makes a, a, it so much more fun. So for the money, yes, I would buy one. Um, the added extra that you can put your GoPro on the front and you can video a fish in the water while you're there, or you can video your friends as they're going past, or make videos like this, I, I think it just adds to it that little bit extra. So it's everything I could possibly want. For a tool to go snorkeling or swimming so if you are going to use this just make sure you're careful make sure you've got plenty of buoyancy people are watching where you are and watching what you're doing make sure you've got your wits around you i am a qualified scuba diving professional so we were diving in the right kind of tide i did have people on the shore watching for us all the time so just be very careful when you're using this in water because it could lead to something a little bit more serious than you're expecting but all in all i love this product and if you've loved this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not already, subscribe to the channel. That way you can see loads more of the content we produce. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.